at St Paul's. Hugh. The Duke of York and his daughters Beatrice and Eugenie arriving at St Paul's Cathedral. Duke's main focus over the past year has been uh, his uh, pitch at the palace. That's something he founded to support entrepreneurs. He is, of course, the UK special representative for international trade. And uh, Princess Beatrice and uh, Princess Eugenie with him too. And there we have the Earl and Countess of Wessex. Yes, it's very nice, Hugh, that we see there. Um, ready for the first time, uh, the uh, uh, Earl and Countess's uh, son, the um, Viscount Seven. Um, you know, playing a, a, a prominent, a starring role, perhaps, at a, at a state occasion. Um, we've occasionally seen the children on the balcony at the birthday parade, but uh, here he is uh, coming to his first big formal event, um, and there's uh, Lady Louise uh, Mountbatten Windsor there, too, who, who played a very uh, uh, rather poignant role at the uh, equestrian uh, birthday tribute to the Queen at Windsor recently. Uh, she came on at the end riding a pony herself um, in front of the... Uh, the crowd alongside her father, the Earl of Wessex, and the Queen uh, loved that. They should be very pleased um, that they're here today. Duke of York being greeted by the uh, the Dean and Chapter, and now the the Archbishop of Canterbury, exchanging a few words. And uh, the princesses, likewise, and now the Earl of Wessex, Dr. David uh, Eisen, there, who's been uh, the Dean of St Paul since 2012. Big year for the Earl as well, because he now uh, is in charge of the Duke of Edinburgh's award scheme. He's taken on the mantle from his father, uh, looking after that. And it's their 60th anniversary, so a lot of big events uh, in relation to that coming up all around the world. Um, and uh, that, of course, is a great tribute to the, uh, the reluctant birthday boy today, the Duke of Edinburgh. The bells of uh, St Paul's Cathedral, very hard work for the Guild of Ringers at uh, the Cathedral here today and indeed over this weekend and uh, tomorrow on uh, the day of the official birthday uh, they'll be attempting a full peal which could take them four hours and we wish them all the luck in the world with it. There's the Princess Royal and her husband uh, Vice Admiral uh, Sir Timothy Lawrence. And uh, there also is the Queen's cousin Princess Alexandra as well. Uh, as we've said more than 50 members of the royal family here today. Uh, Princess Alexandra's uh, son is already here, James Ogilvy, um, and, uh, and his wife. Uh, it, it, it really does have the, the feel of a, of, a, of a family wedding in a way, um, uh, although uh, you know, there, there too we've got, as we've seen, uh, a very large number of politicians, uh, the diplomatic corps are here, we've got the governors general of all the Queen's realms. I mean, we often forget that she's queen not just of this country, but of 15 others, and every single one of those is represented here today. Uh, uh, the diplomatic corps, as I've said, and, and the Lord Lieutenants, these, these, these people who, who work day in, day out uh, in, in counties up and down the land, uh, representing the Queen at a very local level, um, who'll probably be organising events this weekend on their own patch to mark her birthday, but they're all here today too. When we think of the service itself, Robert, the, there's been a great care, a lot of care taken, obviously, to think about every single element and segment of this service. What would you point people to as we look forward to the service now in about 15 or so minutes time? Um, what are the elements that you think will really underline what this is about? I think uh, 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 a lot will depend on uh, what the Archbishop of Canterbury has to say. Um, the, that's always a, a, an important moment. We've got the Archbishop of York here today as well. Um, there is new music has been composed by the new master of the Queen's music, Judith Weir. I think that that'll be important. I think for a lot of people, what they're going to also be very much looking forward to is seeing, seeing uh, Sir David Attenborough here, who of course um, is is the same age as the Queen and, and reading out that tribute written by uh, Michael Bond, creator of Paddington Bear. Paddington Bear, the only other person who has. Uh, two birthdays uh, like Her Majesty. And there's David Attenborough with Michael Bond waiting uh, to take part in this service and uh, I think you're right lots of people will uh, consider that to be uh, one of the great highlights. He's, he's been very much a part of, of royal life Sir David I mean he he was actually he was uh, uh, used to many years ago in, in his capacity as a senior figure at the BBC he used to produce the Queen's uh, Christmas broadcast um, and uh, is, is a, a, a great friend of the Duke of Edinburgh as well because of their shared interest in wildlife and conservation. And uh, the Earl of Wessex now, and the Countess of Wessex and their two children, uh, they're taking their seats. So we 
we're, uh, we're, we're, we're full up, really up to the front row now. There's no setting like it, really. St. Paul's Cathedral and uh, the view there from the Great Dome uh, is... It really just expresses the scale and the ambition of Wren. The fact that it's still here today, of course, is a miracle. <laughs>